This is July 1943, near the end of the fourth year of the Second World War. British and American armies are storming into Sicily. In every town, city and village in Italy, scenes like these bore witness to one of the strangest somersaults of fate. German soldiers made prisoners of the Italians who had begun the war as their allies. Thousands of children became the orphans of a storm that was beyond their powers of understanding. Fathers, brothers, sisters, mothers, they had none. Nobody knew where they came from. Their past was a blurred memory of starvation camps and loved ones who silently and suddenly disappeared. Mother Catherine. What is it? Sister Consuela. Yes? Is dead. Seems you have the highest percentage of persons escaping from any camp in northern Italy. The people who are escaping are children. Small children. They're quite agile, hard to contain like cats. Children. I wasn't told that. I saw them just now. They're Jewish children rounded up from various towns by your Gestapo. The parents are usually killed. Good morning, gentlemen. Major Spoletti. May I present Colonel Horston, the new commandant of the camp? Her Highness Princess Hohenberg, Mother Superior of this convent. A German princess? A German, yes. Your Highness. Sir, why do you disturb our devotions? You are under arrest, together with all other ladies of this peculiar establishment. Are we the enemy now? You know why we are here. Where are the prisoners? We have no prisoners. This execution is not going to take place. I'm going to kill him. No, Major. Is it so hard to understand? I am sworn to a way of life. I will be what I say I am. There cannot be any compromise which thou shalt not kill.